Go with Spectre. All right, for anyone yeah, who's just showing titles. up, this is CBA versus YGGC. They're playing sub flared on. We got CBA getting a decent start on C. They're going to cap that right away. Having ESP Goose like and Clamulus run screen. up to. It looks like Clamulus is going into mid house. Going to get a look on A. ESP Goof going in for that aggressive push there. Running into B. I'm going to face off with Luker99. He gets the cap. He's going to go up here. Let's see what happens. Oh, Luker takes him out. I'm not good at casting. Someone else do this. I'm funny with it. I'm just a silly little guy, you know? Luker and Bunaki can get the decap. Luker seems to be at low health, but he is holding that window with the Scar Hammer. That window is known to be quite an oppressive spot for anyone holding this uh, greenhouse right here. See, Rager Reset going up with a G36. Taking out Luker, but going on low health and getting finished off by Chill215. TBA having quite a stronghold of the left side of Ghost side here, with C and A both capped. You can see Phantom struggling to push out of B point here. Bunaku getting up pretty aggressively. He's gonna face off against Clamulus. Takes him out. Paradigm's gonna hit him off with a nade though. Got Realista. Getting ESP Goose with Zafia. Gets finished off by Rage Reset, unfortunately. We got Zafia going for the cap at the bottom of A pool. But gets finished off by Paradigm. Is, there, is anyone else gonna like come in here? Here, Anto, what, what's, what's uh, your opinion you. currently? What's your opinion on this thing right now? Am I doing uh, I right? think CBA is doing very good, honestly. Paradigm is going to sit in one. It's, it's looking very good for CBA. Oh, it's very one-sided okay. so far, but it's also the first two minutes. Nothing can be called yet. You're quite correct. Paradigm going over to Red Hedge, holding with the AUG H-bar, gonna... Probably look at Bunaku, who seems to be getting a cap. Gets taken out by Clamulus and Drag. We got bleed damage and ESP Goop pushing up to grab that B point. Although they're not paying too much attention to Phantoms who are going up to C. They might get this cap with two people on point. Clamulus takes one of them out, but Zafia is holding it pretty well. They get the cap. Bunaku's gonna face off Razor Reset and Clamulus. Gets taken out in the trade, and now Clamulus is gonna take back that point for Ghost. I think my camera angle's a bit far, but... Rage Reset, ESP Goop, and Calamity is all coming into that red house to try to get back C. Ends up getting the cap. Paradigm going to face off against Zafia. Doesn't actually notice him. Never mind, he notices him and takes him out immediately. Luka99 trying to get some footing for his team, but ends up getting taken out by the entire TVA team. They're really ruling with an Iron Fist now. It's been three minutes and they're already up pretty well 100 points. We got Zafia and, I check, and check Chill215. Check the DMs, okay. I got a view of the map here for you, kind viewer. Yeah, since I'm up small, you can see everything from there. Try to hold an angle like this. If I were doing it for highlights, I could, but since I'm casting the map, I kind of want to highlight the action, you know what I mean? Rage of Reset goes yeah, to finish no, off no. Zafia at A point. Going up against Bunaku, he takes them out, but ESP Goop and Bleed Damage are coming to get them for the kill. Holding a very strong hold in front blue house, as YGC struggles to get past their own spawn. You can see they're all cooped up here in the back of their spawn, with B point getting taken out. They do end up having C point though. Very interesting. Luke are going to try to get B point over here. I'm going to hold a cap at the very... A very weird off angle. Gonna get pushed by a bleed damage. Guess the cat. Let's see how they 1v1. Luker takes them out with the Scar Hammer. Very powerful gun, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. LMGs are just gonna do that to people. Watch you see getting back on their feet with an A and B cap. However, bleed damage and Rager Reset are gonna try to get that B point back. Luker gonna take out both of them with that Scar Hammer. Binocchio's trying to get that cross map with the HK, but ESP Goop is pushing up. He's gonna face off against Luker and takes him out. Luker's reign of terror is gone, I guess. Got ESP Goop capping B. It seems he's gonna get it. Rage Reset trying to cap A. Doesn't get it. Gets finished off. Carvin telling everyone to play bad business. We should, uh, we should kick him, but... Very cool game. I do support that idea. Also try bad business. 
reset and paradigm we're gonna get that cap on a and while climbing struggles to get c he's at good one hp and he's about to get pushed by binocu and zafia gets taken out rage reset coming in to take his place but then he's gonna get well let's see what happens he's gonna get 1v1 by zafia takes him out but usb goof is coming right in his place you should check Seeing... that check ab whoa Look at the scoreboard. Everyone is neg except for a couple two people. Bunaku is doing quite well, holding 1.9 KDR. But then you see Paradigm over here holding 5. You can see that the LMG on CBA is holding a very high KDR as you would expect from such a gun. on the scoreboard. Yeah, kills what I mean. He's in a 7 streak. He is. That is true. I'm kind of just paying attention to all the gunfights, not really paying attention to the scoreboard. Seeing what's going on. CBA is still holding an yeah. iron fist on YGC, being nearly 200 points up. Actually, 150. I'm bad at math. We realize that right now. Yeah, Knight is done. bad at math, everybody. Uh, Chill215 taking quite an aggressive push on two of CBA's members. Gets taken out immediately. Bunaku comes to get those picks at mid blue house. CBA having most of their members spawn at this trampoline house, going to hold off the one point that YGGC has, which is B point. YGGC from this gets to push up on C and will probably get the cap if they try to, but it looks like they're just sitting up on the hedge trying to get picked. That may be the downfall of them, but they're going to C right now. Paradigm still holding a pretty high KDR with 2.83. Well, why did you see get C and goes in through the spawns? Quite an interesting play, in my opinion. ESP Goop sitting on A. I'm not really sure what the intent is, as you can't drain points in player domination. However, bleed damage goes, takes a shot at. My grammar sucks. He takes a shot at Chill215, who gets immediately taken out by the rest of CBA. And you can see CBA now has a triple cap and is now actually 200 points up. Contrary to uh, my. Terrible man. You and I check the other again. Push <laughs> finger. You have a great opinion. I'm moving too much. But I don't care. I do hold a high angle. Why did you see taking no, no, a triple no. push onto? Lower the FOV too. It's hard to see. Oh yeah, the two. My bad. <laughs> Why did you see holding red trampoline, although getting taken out after their initial push? See, why did you see holding B house? Although, if they don't push up, they're not going to get all that many points. Halfway into the match, and CBA is more than 200 points ahead. You can see a big face off going off by uh, this side of the map with four CBA members taking out most of why did you see people. However, Zafia and Luther 99 are going to try to get this A point cap. Zafia holding the A cap completely prone and behind the hill to try to not get shot out. But he does get triple peaked by the entirety of CBA. Going to recap A immediately. Why did you see ends up missing I think his nades? And I think this is already yeah pretty much around. Unless why did you see really steps it up? He really steps it up and does exactly what CBA did to them. They're not gonna even this match match out very easily. CBA up at nearly three hundred points. Dude strafing in spec mode. That's what I do. I'm a ref. I don't cast. I just do what I want. <laughs> You're making people dizzy. I don't hold that hang dizzy. I'm not a caster, and this is why I shouldn't be a caster. <laughs> this, is, this is my interview it's right fine, now. As I cast the most scuffed scream in existence. <laughs> yeah, we can call this for CBA. Pretty well, yeah. Happy yeah, birthday, no back for six minutes. Is it really Raz? Really? Really? There, there isn't oh really God. much. There isn't much to say. They've got triple cap, and they're gonna hold it for nearly the entire time. Honestly, I've never really spectated CBA being casted, so they're like Suburbia being casted. My bad. So I'm not really sure how to hold angles here. Go into the house for a split second. You can see why do you see it's really cooped up, only really being able to hold B point, which is on their side of spawn. Razor reset being aggressive as hell, pushing up into their spawn and getting that B cap from behind. You can see right here, 
all of YGC's players right now are all stuck in this trampoline house. Whereas TBA has near the entirety of the other map control. We got YGC pushing up to C. Is Beagle going crazy? On a 7 man kill streak and 2 oh, KDR. On a seven man. Rage of Reset's on a 6, but then it gets taken out. Everyone on CBA seems to be holding a pretty reasonable KDR. Top 3 on CBA all have 34 kills. Could maybe see at least one person with 50 kills on this match. Why did you see, however, only has Bunaku holding 35, which is. I'd say the highest skills in the match right now with discounting Rage or Reset having the same number going into the house again at some point. Well, I'm athletic here. ESP Goop getting a triple kill on YGGC. And then going White up to kill, get B. Huh? I, 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 I think there's nothing to say. It's kind of a one-sided stomp right now. There are 300 points ahead. Like... I'm not even sure what to come here. Like, I, I, I'm I, not excited. Like, there's no coming back from this. I'll be completely honest. There's nothing to say. I can't just, like, hold yeah. I have to. I have to, like, goon strafe and just tap, tap D six times. You just try to fly open. I'm too much of a gamer. And I'm too much of a gamer. Too much of a a goose. Kind of like the screenshot. No help. ESP Goof having 43 kills though. We could definitely see him possibly get 50 kills if they don't win by points drained, which is a very huge possibility right now if they keep triple cap for this long. You can see that CBA has 420 points. Nice. 419 now as they get one member killed. But I, I I simply don't think there's anything YGC can do. I've said it before, I'll say it again. You can see they're all trapped in their spawn area here, all at the back and not being able to get their points at all. Even for a point like B point, which is so close to their spawn, it seems so far away for them right now. Paradigm going crazy. Going nuts. He's got 2.81 KDR. Almost three if he keeps this up. A five man kill streak. Sits now. Fighting the other the other LMG gets taken out. Chill 2 on 5 going in for the push, but then gets taken out by the two men. The dream team of CBA playing the game as a team and trying to limit their 1v1 interactions. However, even in their 1v1 interactions, as we just saw a reset do, they are simply beating them right now with a 400 point lead. We may not even see 50 kills this game because. Points are about to be drained out really soon. ESP Goop was 47 and a 1.9 KDR. We'll see what he has to do. Can he get the 50? I feel like this is oh. even a race to who can win more than a race to triple who can nade. get the most kills. Paradigm gets a triple nade. He's just better. He's got the best LMG skills and he's got the best grenade skills. Although he is at the bottom of the leaderboard. I stand corrected. I'm good on... And yeah, we do see that... There is no 50 kills in this match, although ESP Goop did get really close with 49, as points are completely drained out at, in, nearing the last minute of the match. And this is currently going to be 1-0 for CBA. How do we feel about that match, Aiden? How do I feel about that match? I expected it to be a lot closer than it was. I really thought YGGC would have an advantage in there. I always thought they'd practice Suburbia. And guess what? Next map is Elevation Hardpoint, CBA's best map. And they have the best side on Hardpoint, which is Ghost. People often think that Venom is better on Hardpoint. But Ghost is better simply because of that gravel spot. And if they get someone to hold the bots, they're gonna probably gonna win that. Same I with Tetris. I received a DM from someone in the Stylus main server and the Spirals experience server saying nothing but sup. Nothing but what? He said, sup, how are you? <laughs> I am good. I'm getting more excited from the three letter word sup than I am from that last match, I'll be completely honest.
really unfortunate that YGC couldn't come back from that because YGC is known to be quite a strong team being in majors last season, although their roster is quite significantly different, I'd say. Let's hope they do better this next round. CBA is ready. Let's hope, because I, I would definitely prefer like a closer match. Is it just me, or do I not remember this being here? This, this, this is warehouse. Is, this, this building warehouse is not is here, right? Darker. This, this, warehouse, this warehouse looks the same in terms of lighting. It's just this, this building. Yeah, but if you spawn in, the lighting is different. I guess. It's probably yeah, it's warehouse here. Is the lighting turned yeah, off. You got the stairs here. Yes, I do. I have thick gold shadows off. It's funny. All right, round two is going to be on elevation playing hardpoint with CBA on the same side as before. And why did you see on Phantoms yet again? Let's see if why did you see can pull up and have a fun match and uh, hopefully come back. Why did you see gonna get a spawn on mostly in blue warehouse, all coming up to go to mid, which is gonna be the first point. You can Game see YGC flanking. as well as CBA all throwing nades with CBA having two people on the point at the moment. Zafi is going to come in and 1v1 Simula, taking him out with the FAMAS, although bleed damage holds the point still. Rager reset holding the support clip, which is quite an interesting thing to see. I've seen people do this multiple times before to try to catch people off guard. It is quite a powerful off angle. He does get taken out there. Fair enough, again. When I could just jump off the map. I can't help but laugh. What? You jump off the map. I'm, I keep going into the floor. That's so funny. We've got CBA having one person on point at the moment. Currently double their points, although that's not even that much, seeing that it's only 15 points ahead. We're going to 1v1 against Bunaku. Does take him out using the Auge 3 para, which we have seen multiple times being one of the strongest guns in Pro Rules, which is known to be supposedly a lot a weaker gun rule set. We've got CBA having two people on the point at the moment. Just Rage of Reset and Boxy Boxy, who wasn't playing last game. Teabagging in there. Yes, now you should try to the bleed damage group. are going to hold camera. Phantoms off from... I don't even know what to call it. I'm going to call it Bridge, because that's Bridge there. Yes, we Goop are going to get taken out maybe by Mask. No, he just completely misses a nade. But Mask does get take advantage of this and pushes up by... This is a call out that doesn't exist. Yeah, I, four men. Can, can anyone tell me what this is? Like, like what? Where? What is this stairway I... called? You, you see what I'm screaming, right? It's pretty oh. delayed. But I don't know. Oh, no, it's, it's like, also, I just tried to maybe make it anyway, Why did you see? It does get pushed up near Hilly, although they go back to the Beppis point. It's called the Beppis point because of this silly little Beppis sign. Pepsi. So funny. Lead damage is gonna get an aggressive push. Takes one of YGC's players out. Although I guess immediately killed again by Gimmicks. Gimmicks gonna take out Simulus as well. Although he does get picked off by ESP Goop and Boxy Woxy. ESP Goop on a 3 right now. Pulling 2.25 KDR having similar performance to last match. You see CBA has a 100 point lead that's pretty much. As YGC struggles to get back on the point, although they do take out ESP Goop and have a three man drain going. Hitmask is gonna hold, try to hold off bleed damage, does take both him and Climbulus out. Um, CBA is gonna push from mid door. This is Paris door. What am I saying? I leave I PS has for one I week and suddenly I forget literally every call out. Although YGC is definitely coming back with this point. Taking the gap from 100 points to only 50 points. TBA, however, no, I took away your going camera. up to... You took away my what? You make your camera slower. Press control. Just, just hold it a little. I'm pressing control. And the... Just hold it. Hold it for, for a couple seconds. And your camera will be slower. Oh, now I can't move. I, hold it for, I held it for too long. <laughs> I see that you're just driving around. It's kind of, you might kind of making people do something. Oh, so that's how it works. Yeah, no one ever told me how the controls work. Thank you. Thank you, Manta. No problem. You can see that YGC and CBA are both completely off the point. 
Our bleed damage and Luka are gonna come up and get Ooh. completely massacred by him. Gimmicks does end up taking Keanu out. Going up on podium, fighting against Boxy Woxy, he gets taken out immediately. However, why did you see does manage to hold off CBA for a little bit longer? Although CBA has around one member on this point, although he gets taken out immediately by Mask. Gonna have a two man drain from YGC. Luker 99 taking out Boxy Woxy with the AKM. Very strong, very powerful gun. I do recommend. I crushed it for two seasons. PSP group on point holding right now. Taking out Hit Mask and possibly gimmicks too. Definitely does. Bleed damage. Trying to get the 1v1 against Luker, but does get taken out. Now we've got Zafia and Luker holding a two man drain on point, trying to hold CBA off. Luker goes off the big box, takes out Mimulus. Yes, no, he doesn't. I, I keep checking feed. feed. I'm like, I'm, I'm fumbling right now. Look at Keanu. Hello? What is Keanu? Hold on. Doing? He's got a spider. Where have you been? He's just Are we live? Yeah, yeah we're live. I'm, right now. I'm, I'm running the most scuffed stream ever known to man. I've yeah, I'm a little really, I've got no but... experience, I'm just going. Oh wow, yeah, you're actually saying? <laughs> oh, it's fine, bro. We got night. Yo, look at reset, he's got a point. Why did you see he's getting cleared by ESP Goop right now? He gets a triple kill, possibly a four if Zofia decides to drop down. Look at the scoreboard. 28 uh, of them. He's gonna get that peek on Zofia, I guess, taken out by him though. Bleed damage covering in for him and taking Zafia out with the Augie 3 para once again. Why do you see getting a two man drain? However, maybe getting taken. Nope. That was a nade that I expected to kill him. Coming from CBA, I do expect their nades to be slightly better than uh, going right past point. However, I, we all happen to throw some pretty bad nades at times, myself included. Why do you see having three, four members pushing up through bridge? Getting point cleared, however, getting only one person on point right now. Gimmicks holding to hold CBA off, however, they take him out. Now they have a four, four man, man drain. Oh, wow. Kunaku taking out three of them, however, from a decently far range, considering the HK416, which I don't think is that low of a recoil of a gun, despite 100 ranked players. Thing. Otherwise, I don't know. I always found the HK416 to have a lot of recoil. A lot more than I wanted. CBA covering the point for now. Only one person on drain, but that's still well enough to hold a 140 point lead. Why did you see tries to take a push, but ends up getting taken out by CBA, including Boxy Woxy, who remains alive? Takes out oh. gimmicks as well. Now he's gonna get that early rotate onto the next point, trying to tear off why did you see? Currently has a one man drain on point, however gets taken out by the entirety of why did you see peeking into him. ESP Goof throwing the Kobe Bryant nade and taking out Bunaku from downtown. God damn. However, why did you see spawns pretty close as they have multiple spawns and phantoms at Blue Warehouse over here? Gimmicks pulling up to Hopefully fight off this toughest two-man drain on point. Toss of the nade, misses unfortunately, and gets taken out by ESP Goof. He's simply better right now, holding a 4 streak and a 2 KD as he was the last game. The nade's missing. ESP Goof getting taken out with Clambulance taking his place on point. However, with the 12 seconds left before this point to remain, they're probably going to get that early rotate. CBA pushing up immediately into why did you see spawn? Why did you see getting held back again? And they're gonna get that early rotate onto point over here. We've got two, three people on drain right now. So I don't know. I think this match is a lot more one sided than we all thought it was to be. What do you think, Anto? I agree. Uh, on on elevation hard point, the best side is is ghosts. People often think that it's Phantoms. And CBA just has an advantage right now. They're doing way better in terms of like like players level. And also they also have the better side. Which I think plays a role. You can see Keanu with a 2KD going 40 and 18. And the oh, top frag on YGC is going 26 and 70 
Oh yeah. You can definitely get it. I'm counting on it now. After last match, I really just think has this is a one-sided time. match. I think the match is going to be called already. I'll be completely honest. Even though it's only a 100 point lead, that's still 100 points more that they've been bowling the entire match. I just had a, a lag spike in my life. Uh, no, it, it was them. CBA has a better side than just the stack. strongly taken players. out by gimmicks, however. Yes, Pigu is going to try to fight him off, but get, ends up getting taken out. Lead damage taking his place, getting taken out by Ricola immediately. And now, why did you see has a two man brain on point? Or not for long. I'm getting taken up by Rager resetting Glamulus, playing superbly as a two man duo. Give extra open aid and misses completely, which is quite unfortunate given their scenario being 200 points behind. The second aid going in that does end up killing Rager reset, with Rarakola and Mask trying to kill bleed damage. Zafia, One good name wipes them. Uh, Luke are getting that three man drain, possibly, but they rotate off. Hopefully, trying to secure some positioning for next point, which is going to be on the bottom of mid. Having a two man drain, I assume, right now. Moving down to one man drain, getting taken out by Rage Reset with the Scar H, switching guns. And now CBA is just going to hold a two man drain. Yeah. ESP Goof still playing very aggressively, having 43 kills alongside Bleed Damage, who has 45. Playing right really oppressively, trying to get YGC off their feet. Not that they are already, yeah, no. they're already like, still half Triple of their points kill. behind. Mass taking out Climulus on point, however, maybe getting pushed up by ESP Goof. Taking out Luka99 and Mass simultaneously. That's a long word, simultaneously. I haven't said that word in a long time. ESP Goof on one hell of a streak. Not really. I... Um, damn. He only had three. He dead. That's tough. He just... He's not good enough for that. I'm fumbling. Lead damage. Getting a double kill at the moment. Taking out Mast and Ricola. Trying to get some footing into... Why did you spawn with getting taken up by gimmicks? Who ends up getting traded with Bibleon. Hold up. Okay, so it looks like CBA is definitely stomping YGC right now. They have a massive... Kill difference. They have control over their spawn. Even There's not much they yet. can do right now. So how did you warm up on Metro for 20 minutes before the match? This is not looking good for CBA. Mask is going 1 and 6. CBA, they're all going positive. Wait, Reset's going 0 and 3. Okay, what is Reset what is doing? What, what's he using? Jacket. Wait, one sec. Someone yeah, just says, do we drag? G36K. Should be doing fine with that. Look at look at the feed. It's oh. entirely CBA. Yeah. Why did he just being spawn kill? Oh my god. Awful. Masked is one and seven. No, this is not looking awful. Wow. The control right, that mask CBA out. has right now does not make this look very fair. It's a full Metro spawn trap for Grand Finals? They can't get a kill! Damn. Wow. 20 kill difference. 24. In 3 minutes, CBA almost has a kills 4 times over. 25 kill lead. Oh my god. You cannot have a better start than what CBA has opened with. Let's see if YGC can bounce back. There's 11 minutes left. 24. Still different. Happening right now, and there's a lot of different guns being used. But <clears throat> one it's thing is definitely. It's okay. It's okay. One thing that's definitely okay. for sure okay. is that you've seen K1As and Honey Badgers for YGGC, but we're seeing 416s and H bars for CBA and they're holding it range so perfectly because YGC can barely push up. Yeah, Even then, so oh my God. that was a suppressed K1A. I, how do we discuss it? Trolling? Was it? Wow. Yeah, how do you, what are you doing, man? This, the kill gap just keeps getting bigger. Out well for him. 
Keanu going 14 and 3, 4.6 KDR. Man, this is painful. What is Keanu doing? Fifteen and three five KDR. Twenty five kill difference. There's ten minutes left. Let's see if if YGC can do anything about it. But it's worth saying that oh my god, K one A suppressed. It is worth saying that Venom's is definitely the better side on Metro. Yeah. Simply because of the closer spawns. You have a side disc spawn and you have purple spawn. Okay, fine. Uh, it definitely gives reason for why Metro C is important to play because the spawns make sense in a pub when it's 16 v 16, but <clears throat> the gap in between how far people are spawning and how close CBA is to mid off of spawn is a little bit uh, debatable in terms of fairness. Yeah. Though there's definitely some great stuff coming in from the YGGC players, namely now we're seeing an AKM and a 416 in the feed. Almost exactly what I said. Now that they're switching to some range difference guns, we're seeing a couple more kills from them in the feed. Though they are trying to still hold purple with an MP5, and it does appear to be working. They're getting that score gap closer than it's ever been. They honestly could play this correctly. A little bit of a uh, <clears throat> an they could bounce over back. extension thing. Yeah, of course. I think that if CBA stays overextended mid and keeps trying to ego play, they're going to end up losing map control. They're actually bouncing back. This is impressive. Mm. And just like that, they, they keep do doing what they're doing right control, now. And now yeah. LML is using an AUG A1 defensively insta killed by Luker with that HK416 watching from purple. The nades are coming in as well, and the score gap is coming closer to 20 kills. And this is seeming pretty possible now. Saf is still holding purple with that suppressed K1A. He's waiting for people to push. Look at Paradigm. Holding arcade with an H bar. Piccolo with the double kill assist onto side esque, and the feed almost being fully YGGC for a moment there. But it seems like <laughs> CBA is cartoonishly pushing side esque over and over and over until it works. Miss grenade. Two miss grenades. They're just running. Oh my in. god. Rory we got Ricola. With a double kill on the AKM onto <clears throat> Keanu and reset there. And now they are not going to try to push through side ask anymore. The kill gap has now been lowered from 20. And this is seeming beyond possible now for at least a one round comeback for YTGC. They're definitely coming back. This is impressive. They went from 20 to 42. Yeah. 49 to 66. With the double kill in purple. Once again with the same two group of people that have been pushing together this whole time. And now one thing that's definitely working against CBA that we're seeing is Rock Shore still on the AUG A1. Paradigm potentially still on the AUG H bar as he is. And they have two players that cannot, ru cannot rush that are losing fights. And then multiple rushing players that cannot win without their teammates rushing with them. It's kind of uh, too much Look of at a the YGC map strategy. control. Yeah. And there they it have is right there. They have the purple. first time the feed has been fully YGGC killing members of CBA. A 14 kill difference. The lowest gap that it has been basically since the start of the match. And at the halfway point, if YGGC is able to maintain even half of this momentum, they can definitely get a point up this round. And look at Luker playing for maximum input at one health. Prone. New damage in with one kill. Now with two assisted by Thinkernet. Pushing up on mid big brown box. Luker low finally finished off by Thinkernet. Three kills coming in for CBA. A push to long yellow hall with Rari Cola coming in and a full feed wipe for CBA. Bringing it back. With Luker on the assist on spawn. And YGDC just now losing their control of purple. Potentially at this moment. It is all up to gimmicks to maintain that little last piece of map control that YGGC has been um, maintaining this momentum with. And a good kill there. Wow. YGGC taking back Sidus? No, Almost a good two kills. Almost. That spawn! What in... CBA what? has been happened. Rook Chiru just spawned on Sidus and just killed Luger. That's not cool, dude. Paradigm just died. And he just respawned. They just have the the 
side advantage. CBA does. Simply because of these pawns. Paradigm with the triple! So glad I decided wow. to watch him on this off spawn. Almost about to be a quad here. The AUG H4 is truly going to start excelling at this long range engagement here. Paradigm still, still against almost Luker, Chill health. and Raw Recola does manage to get wiped oh. out by Chill on the Honey Badger. But definitely a huge play for his team. Chill coming in now with the double kill, potentially on the triple. If ESP Goop doesn't handle this well, with a perfectly thrown grenade to kill Luker. Paradigm on the assist. Manages to get Raw Recola and Thinkernet watching Big Esk. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, Spires, you good? Someone, yeah, I'm okay. Just someone needs to fill in for me temporarily. I need to let it recover a little bit. I promise I'm okay, though. I'm not, like, in pain doing this. Okay, bro. So it looks like CBA is finally starting to get back to his feet. They had a really good start. They had a pretty, pretty interesting mid-round. And now it's actually bouncing back again. 22 kill difference. At some point in the match, he was over 30. Uh, YGZ wants to have a chance at winning this. They need to take Sidus. Simply because CBA, since they're on Phantoms, they can spawn on Sidus. Uh, we have ESP Goop pushing into Paradox inside of those spawn. He's a pop stomper. He's really good at pop stomping. If, if you give him paradox, if you give him that ghost spawn, he's the gonna take it. The scary fact of the matter is, in a metro TDM or even like a warehouse, uh, like kill confirmed environment for CBA, is that all of their players are active pop stompers, and they're just gonna be either playing a strange strategy that puts one person at an advantage, or playing in a way that gives the enemy team a full disadvantage with positioning and waiting. Yeah. Like Thinkernet's waiting on top ticket right now. They're throwing the nades for brown box. He does manage to get killed, but the footing is more important than the life itself there. All these players now flanking around from spawn. This is unjust. These vending machine spawns shouldn't be a thing for phantoms. I don't think it's right. These free spawn pushes are getting a little concerning. Look at Paradigm go. Yeah. Instantly dead from chill here, though. And the kills are very even. Back and forth in a pattern on the feed now. Um, both teams exchanging blows at a pretty even basis. Um, but it still does seem like with only 343 left. And CBA losing their momentum. Losing that roll that had them 20 kills away. Now once again 30 kills away from the win. That they are going to get uh, closed out this round by CBA. Once again the full feed. And now with an AKU-12 from Rock Chewer. Currently on a double low health in the spawn. Does manage to get killed by Zafia. But I think we are looking at a confident round win. Round win CBA. and grand finals win. Almost 40 kill difference. Wait, 40. Yeah. Uh, why did he try to he tried to push side as Thinker is waiting over there at side bots. Um, you have USB Goob at red, simply going crazy. Stage kill streak, still holding red, waiting to be pushed. Finally gets picked up by gimmicks. A nice grenade by Chili. By Chill, I mean, not Chili. <laughs> Chill holding side as Rock Chewer in purple. Pushing on purple gets taken out by gimmicks. Three CBA players on purple, one gets killed. They manage to take control back with purple. Uh, they're pushing to red. They Finally get killed by Safia. What it seems like we're seeing here is the um, YGGC players got a little bit too comfortable the first time that they established a little bit of uh, an advantage in positioning. And the CBA is just taking advantage of that now by pushing up and like faking a, a big esque push and then just having everybody go purple immediately after. YGGC has not once yet rotated in a way that has prevented CBA from getting control or pushing through the uh, avenues that they've been looking at. The YGGC players are basically always just one step behind. Now that they're all purple, we have two CBA players coming up big esque, and that's going to help with their uh, purple push so long as Paradigm manages to stay alive. He does not, but bleed damage all the way on the back on the long run around. Not even with a high move speed melee. Just a goofy kind of guy, if you ask me. Running all the way around. A little over a minute left. 20 kill difference. I think it, this is called. Yeah, Sadly. I do, I do what do you think he's safely called. 
Unless we see the legendary Zafia 17 man competitive multi done two times in a row in a minute 14 span. I don't believe it's, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. I mean, 26 kills in a minute. In a minute? I don't think they respawn fast enough, I'll be honest. I think grand finals are just about called. You don't have the ambition. Clearly, I don't, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to do some interviews to CBA Spirals. We need to see what they think. Oh, no, Who I should we interview? We should interview yeah, Gavin we should, yeah, we should and Keanu. Basically, all of them. Just see what's up. <laughs> you can get the entire CBA in here. A lot of them, it's their uh, first season. Look at that, kill feed. A lot of them, it is their first season ever. So, it's. Um, I think it'd be important to ask them uh, what they thought going into the match. I'm going to do our last 25 seconds of listen-ins. I'm going to go hear what's going on in those VCs. Time for their smoke. We win. This match is over. Is that a, a subtle one? All right. They were, they, were like, they were, like, not saying anything. It was almost a little, a little intimidating, honestly. Uh, CBA, they just weren't talking. CBA just playing silently? Yeah, like we went, in, we went in there and like for the first like 10 seconds they just weren't talking. And then Clam and <laughs> Clam The funny thing is is that no one was talking but Clambulance was. I almost forgot to get screenshot. Oh man. CBA right. trio. I'm going to join the Why media room and pull a couple out for a uh, for some brief interviews. I don't know where I just, oh, no, I didn't move them at all. Hold on. I got to find out how Discord works, I'm not going to lie. There it is. What just happened? Uh, what? Congratulations what? on your grand finals win in the, uh, the Final oh. Forces competitive. I wanted to uh, take you in for a brief player interview and ask your uh, mindset okay. going into the games. Um, did you guys have any strategy there, or was that just play to win? Um. On Metro or what? Which map? I just overall, I kind of only got here for Metro. I'm a little sick. Uh, we're playing to win. On Elevation, we definitely were focusing more on OBJ though, and mm. same with the Suburbia. This one, the Metro one, we just kind of playing to win. What do you think your most difficult challenge was through the entire season, coming up as a team with uh, this many brand new players to competitive? Uh, Rakova. Having to face them like three times. That was about it. Is this Notorati against AC again? Who should we drag here? Keanu. Let's drag Clem. Keanu, okay, I'm gonna drag. Yeah, you get Keanu in here. Hold on. He got a 70, so... Yeah, I, I can't see, I can't drag them yeah. here. Yeah. All right. Okay, there you go. Joey, because Joey and I are the same person. Uh, so, Keanu, uh, yeah, but briefly, okay, yeah, I do, I do have to have you guys both in here at the same time. Yeah. Let's interview right. Clam. Uh, so mainly for you, first bleed damage. I took a quick. I took a quick poll of your team where everybody unanimous the largest piece of dead weight they've ever had to carry in their entire lives. What's your mindset going into getting carried through an entire season? Um, Honestly, it's it's yeah, fine. I'm just here to roster. Right, to be honest, yeah. Right, you know what I'm saying? It's, I'm just happy that I was I able to get like, away without yeah. without being able to put any effort. Into you guys the games. Yeah, I was glad that I didn't like have to play. Like you know. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. I'm really. Uh, game's really hard. Like my I'm really proud of my team, though. Nine. We were yeah, we were not the favorites going into this match, but we still pulled out 3-0. Yeah, so happy yeah. about that. Yeah, one thing here, I'll just I'll get everybody up, in. Dude? So, hey, come on, silence. Up, dudes? Hold on, let, let, let's interview Clam first. Yeah, let's get the Clam. Yeah, let's here. interview the guy with no mic. Sounds good. Like, oh, is he so, talking? Reset. I'm gonna yeah. I'm, I'm gonna ask that you wait until I address you to speak, so everybody doesn't talk over each other. You're a true gentleman for that one. So, um, do you guys have any? Oh my God! Do you guys have an exact number on how many of your players uh, were playing their very first season here? Um, who um, had never played competitive too many. Before? Here, let me let me look at the roster real quick. I'll put it up. Okay, oh, no. um, Wait, everyone except me and Gavin. Yeah, no. pretty much. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty much. Much. Three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight people. I said last season, but like, wait, no, four. nine people. <laughs> So nine yeah, people play their season. first their first time. Yep. So on a roster of about twelve people, nine first season players and a full grand finals win. 
without any of you getting banned somehow. Which is honestly yep. kind of more uh, impressive than the win, because I knew that some of you were good already. <laughs> um, Clam. Clam, do you have anything to say, Clam? Yeah, let's see. Are you Clam. happy, Clam? Yes, I'm Clam. 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 Man. I Why would you Clam. do that? Let's play, P- play PFM, what he says. Always on the grind, Clam. Yeah. Let's go. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you guys. Well Thank, you, Antonio. Thank you, Antonio. Antonio too. Proud of me too. Yeah, man, Dude, I'm so proud some... of me too. I'm proud of myself. Know, Reset, are you intentionally on a worse mic than you normally are? Um, I'm not home right now. I'm out. I'm actually in Airbnb. <laughs> I'm gonna... About fifty and forty, I think. One more. Maybe. I don't know. Did you really just swear? I'm live. Did you really just swear? I didn't. Oh yeah, you're I getting said... no podium yeah. prizes this season now, bud. Uh, that was a good game. That was a really good game, though. Yeah, that was a good game. What were you guys talking about? Wait, the wait. other VC? You yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just wanted to deliver a quick congratulations to you guys. Um, I'm going to try to take as much time as I can. Thank you, I love you. I do my stream. I'm going to try to recover a little bit. Um, all right, well, you're getting muted for that. Um, <clears throat> I'm not trying to sound like Mike Geo. This is just what God delivered me today. Um, Honestly, <laughs> Honestly, Austin, we like don't deserve you. Thank you so much for yeah, showing up, even though your voice is completely yeah. and making okay. this somewhat, somewhat enjoyable for the rest of us. I'm gonna move yeah. um, some of the people out uh, into the ref chat, and we're gonna make some um, closing statements. Okay. Okay. I wasn't I wasn't here for the whole thing, so if you guys can do some gap fill and talk about maybe the prior matches, it sounds like they won them, so I don't know if there's much to talk about, but. You mean like okay. because that was a stomp. I don't just you know. Okay, but both matches were a stomp. Let's go back to media. Were the matches close? No, no, oh. not at all. Oh well, Antho already left. It's honestly, honestly, a little heartbreaking. Yeah, Keanu got seventy on elevation. How did you? Why did you not tell me that, Aiden? <laughs> Remember <laughs> that? All right, I'm gonna it... get ready to turn this this boy off. Thank you, everybody, for attending today. <clears throat> um, I promise I'm okay. Um, it's a, a, what, like a flat, oh, I got to update the score. You know? I'm really letting it slip here. You go outside for one day and I immediately get badly ill. But this isn't about me. This is about CBA winning the grand finals. Uh, thank you for everybody who attended. Especially to the teams and especially to the viewers that make this possible. Um, for today, and it's it's been spirals. Uh, uh, Knight, Aiden, Anto, all the people in uh, SCL, all the staff who make this possible, all of the players who make the league what it is. Is thank you guys. Uh, that I, that's it for season three. Season four coming very soon.